welcome to Tea Time with Alice. I'm Alice and today I am drinking Harney and Sons Paris Herbal Tea. Now Paris tea is traditionally a black tea with uh, caramelly notes and this is the herbal version of it so they're using rooibos instead of black tea to give it sort of that earthy vibe without having the caffeine. And I'm trying to cut down on caffeine a little bit because I've been doing more lately and uh, it's it really affects me. I'm very sensitive to it and I know I'm going to want caffeine coming into the fall and winter seasons because black tea is really awesome in the fall and winter. So for now, I've got this herbal tea. It's really nice with a dash of oat milk. Um, to, it's kind of like a warming, semi-sweet flavor uh, that's not too spicy, so it doesn't feel quite like the types of teas you would want to drink in the fall and winter. It's just kind of like a warm, sweet, uh, earthy flavor that's really nice. And even though some people are getting really excited about fall, I just want to remind everyone it's not quite fall yet. We still have a few weeks before the autumn equinox. And now that I'm living in a place that has such a short and such a uh, relatively cool summer compared to where I'm, I come from, um, I'm really trying to like hang on to the summer as much as I can. And then when the fall comes, I can really embrace it uh, a lot more. So for the past few weeks, um, for the past month or so, it's been very warm and sunny and I've been able to walk outside without a sweater on and be comfortable and uh, the trees are very green and lush and I'm just now starting to see the tips of the leaves start to turn brown and orange and some of them are turning red and purple and uh, that's really cool. Uh, I am excited. Um, so obviously with the seasons, there isn't just like a hard and fast, okay, summer's over, now it's fall. There is a transition and some of that transition happens faster at certain times than others. So we're kind of slowly getting into it. And then in a few weeks, it'll happen a lot faster. Um, but uh, what's what else is happening in about a week and a day is my birthday, which I like to use as kind of a marker of the beginning of spooky season. So spooky season isn't just Halloween season, in my opinion. Spooky season is kind of the entire um, fall time uh, and even into winter a little bit because I think that winter can be pretty spooky as well. Um, so just in a more like stark, gritty way. So the first parts of spooky season are the more like festive, whimsical, spooky, um, kind of more childlike. And then closer to Halloween, you get into the more scary and, uh, creepy vibes, um, more paranormal. And then the closer you get into the winter, you get the more like, I don't know, stark, uh, like eerie, foggy, spooky. So um, I think that even spooky season transitions, but I like that my birthday um, kind of marks the beginning. And then we have the beginning of fall a couple days later, and then, um, then it's October and we get the Halloween stuff. So I'm pretty excited about that. And I wanted to use this time to kind of reevaluate how the year's going. It's a good sort of time. It's like most of the year's gone, but we still have a pretty good chunk of it left. Uh, so how am I doing? And how am I doing with my goals? How am I feeling? Kind of a, just use this as a ref time of reflection, especially since I'm about to celebrate a birthday and be you know, a year older number wise. So I have been reading a lot. Uh, I'm, I'm in the middle of several books right now and I, I just started a new one even though I haven't finished one that I'm very, very close to finishing. I'm kind of juggling them in a strange way because other people are also reading them or some of them at the same time. So 
and I don't want to like read them too fast before they have a chance to catch up um, so that we can talk about them. But anyway, I wasn't really going to talk about the books that I'm reading. I wanted to talk more about the art and uh, writing that I've been doing. So I've been trying in the mornings while I'm listening to an audiobook to draw um, on my tablet and I've got, I've finished two little digital paintings for spooky season um, and I've started a few more. One of them I'm not sure if I'm going to actually use for spooky season. I might use it uh, I just might post it later when I'm done with it because I'm struggling a little bit. Uh, what I've been trying to do more of is work on uh, buildings and people. Um, I really like making nature landscapes and animals. Uh, I find that comes very naturally to me, but I really want to be able to illustrate the stories that I write. And in order to do that, I need to be good at drawing people because those are typically the characters that I'll have in those stories and buildings because even though a lot of stuff takes place in nature there are a lot of city scenes as well and houses and things like that people inside rooms so I really want to work on that uh, in my art so I've kind of been practicing with those um, I have a couple of like fan art pieces that I've been working on to help um prompt me to practice on those things so you'll probably see some of those coming up i'm not sure how well i'll like them right off the bat but i figure i've gotta start somewhere so um so you'll see some buildings and some people coming up in the next few months as well as more landscapes and more animals because i can't help myself i've also been trying to write more um, several months ago, I asked my friends to create a playlist of like 10 to 12 songs that they uh, felt could be in an order that would tell a story. So the one who finished first, I've been working on a story uh, which will probably be about novella length based on the playlist that he made. Um, and I've written maybe two chapters so far. It's been a really slow moving uh, project because I've been doing a lot of other things, but um, I'm, I'm trying to do that to work on it more often and get more excited about it. Uh, and I, I am actually really enjoying the story. I have it all outlined. I just need to actually write the prose and, um, and dialogue, dialogue, obviously. But uh, I have some other stories that I'm also kind of pulling out of the woodwork, like stories that I had ideas for years and years ago and tabled, and then every once in a while I'll bring them out and I'll kind of remold them a bit and then um, see if I can make any progress on them. Um, so there's two of those, and one of them is kind of a, a nutcracker retelling, but very, very loose retelling. And instead of taking place during Christmas time, it takes place during spooky season, Halloween time, um, kind of the like late September into October. And uh, although it does take place in Texas, um, which is where I'm from, where things are still very warm and hot, um, there are some pretty creepy spooky vibes because I like to use the Texas landscape and the, you know, we've got a lot of like skeleton trees without leaves on them, um, lots of shadows, uh, sometimes even like cacti can be pretty creepy because they're very spiky. And so they're, they've, it's got some vibes of that. Um, and also uh, the Day of the Dead is very big in Mexican culture. So it's got some vibes of that too with the more like whimsical, but still dark, side of things. Um, so I'm pretty uh, slow moving on that as well and it's evolved a lot since its uh, very first concept um, but I, I'm kind of working on an outline that would be a longer story so it's going to take longer for me to finish the outline for it um, but uh, when I get inspired I want to be able to just 
go to that story and say, okay, we're going to keep working on this now. Um, and then I've also been thinking a lot about a story that I can't decide if I'm going to make it a novel or a graphic novel. Um, the graphic novel is sort of what I want, but I am not skilled enough in art to create the images that I want for this story. Um, and I, I think that it would be much faster to actually write it out. Um, so what I might try to do is as I'm outlining it, write it out kind of as a screenplay or um, like a script. Uh, so that if I want, I can translate that screenplay into a novel, um, you know, just make the descriptions and action sequences more prosaic and then, um, you know, put tags on the dialogue. Uh, but if I want to, I can also kind of convert it into a storyboard that would be a graphic novel. So that's more of like a very long-term project. But again, I've been thinking about it lately. And I think what I'm trying to do with writing is if I'm thinking about a story and I'm excited about it and uh, I wanna work on it, I just will. I'll just work on that story, even if it's uh, not the story that I had been working on previously. Because um, sometimes when I'm sitting down to write the story that I say, okay, I'm gonna write this story now, I get stuck because I'm really wanting, I'm really in the mood for something else, kind of like I do with the books that I read. Um, I read a lot of books at a time, just depending on what mood I'm in. And so if I can do that with stories too, then even though it will take a long time, I will actually be making progress on them little by little. So I'm going to try to do that more often. And then I do still think that at some point I will need to pick a story and focus on it. Like I did last year for NaNoWriMo, I picked a story, I focused on it, and I wrote it, most of it in a month. Um, I, I finished the whole thing, the first draft, in two months. Um, and that, I got really obsessed with it and I got really into it. And I think that if I can get far enough into one of these other stories, that will happen again. Um, but I need to keep up the momentum and it's hard to do that if I'm forcing myself to work on a particular project. So, so that's kind of just an overview of where things are at with me creatively right now and the goals I have and the kind of methods that I'll be using in the next few months um, as we're coming up to the new year. And maybe by the time the new year comes, I will have more to show for it, um, or I'll be, you know, more invested in a particular project um, because I get very distracted and I have a lot of things that I want to do, a lot of things going on at once. Um, so I think that's what I'm going to try to, the, the strategy that I have for the next few months as far as writing. And try to alternate between uh, drawing in the morning and writing in the morning, depending on um, what, you know, what time I have to get to work and what else is going on in my life. Uh, I think that having that, um, not getting so stuck on a particular uh, routine and being able to go back and forth more often will also help. Uh, so thanks for listening to this ramble of uh, my creative projects and goals and I will see you next month where it will be actually autumn and actually spooky season and um, we will talk uh, more spooky things. All right, see you then.